Bro, I'm, I'm got, recovering from being if you're, very sick. If, if, you, so. if, you're, if you're weak, just donate. You can just, you just fall back on him. Use your wrist, boys. Um, well, you're in front of my camera. That's right. Wrist yeah. warming up. I tell you what, now that, I'm be- now that I've got... I can already feel he's so much stronger than me. You, you <laughs> two are both quite beefy though, do you guys then play like rugby? Uh, big guys? And then, no, so, no, no. so hold on to the... What do you do to get so big? Tiny bit of resistance, uh, I just doing, it's just few weights, rotating... Uh, <laughs> you lift a few weights, you're huge! Yeah. <laughs> okay, so what you're doing now is warming yeah. up your shoulder. Yeah. But I can feel just just even gripping up with you guys. Keep it sort of shoulder, your elbow a little bit tighter into your body. You know what it is, it's static. So anything you can do, like, you know... You can literally just get a chin up bar. If you can get the Lots extra, of, uh, chin ups, yeah, yeah, if you get the side, now, the so bar extensions on the chin up bar, so, so, you, know, so you can hang like down. this. Yeah, yeah. perfect. Because if you can hold so that like shape, warming up all those muscles. Yeah. Really. Um, oh and again, it's trying to, trying to get that. How are you trying to? Well, we're just warming up. We want to be pulling each other here. You want to really be feeling it here and here. Okay. okay. The, the idea is so not now to go for retards, you're just learning. One of the mo- most important things always, you know, shoulders nice and square, upright. Yeah. So a lot of people, feet when they. Facing. Yeah, you can put your left foot on, on that thing, side, yeah. from there. Or yeah. there, over there. And then that, so that way, so that when you try to start dragging back, your right leg's going to collapse. Yeah. Drive your hip into the table. Okay. And always look at your hand as well. So okay. you always want to be here. You know, a lot of people have yeah. this habit when they start putting their attention into putting the person down, mm. yeah. they start doing this and they're bringing this outside of their frame. You always want to be here. So you always want to look at your hand, try to yeah. keep nice and upright so that when I start going back, oh, I'm yeah. doing it yeah. here. Yeah, can you see there's a deltoid connection there? Yeah. Which you're wanting so to keep it nice and square up on the table. Yeah. As in square as in this straight. Yeah, so you wanna you wanna yeah. always be upright and looking okay. at it, try to okay. keep this frame. So you, you can c- yeah. come even closer with your upper body. Try and oh keep like that, because you're, you're stronger here yeah. than you are yeah. here, because you open your bicep yeah, up. Okay, yeah. okay, now, so, when you lean back, right, so yeah. you do it now, try. Yeah. Yeah, so In now you want to try and, you wanna try and so drag my hand towards that side of the table. This left leg, yeah. you want to forget it almost, so you're kicking him almost, yeah. Way forward, way forward. Okay. And you're going to be pushing that into the ground and getting your hip up into the table as you come over. Don't, don't okay. talk. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Go for it. Okay, no, don't go sideways. You're using muscular arm side okay. pressure, which is never going to be needed, and you can no. get injured doing that. Okay. Use your body. Use this. So watch. So yeah. imagine this is your power here. Okay, okay. That's why you see, I mean, you see some of these professional arm wrestlers. You see yeah, them walk on, you think, right in my right leg here. the musculature on their backs is ridiculous, because they're, they're all about... This, yeah. um, you know, it's incredible what they okay. do. So if you look at how I do it, right? So yeah. I'm leaning back, yeah. using his body. Yeah. Okay. Uh, like, like you said earlier, you almost want to look at their side of the pad yeah. almost while you're going down. Yeah, yeah. 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 So yeah. And, and look how tight he is. At no point is he losing okay. his own arm there. Okay. So lean back. Yeah. Try to keep that structure and lean back and try to pull me down. Yeah. That's so again, again, you are, well, w- yeah. you don't imagine. Don't imagine. Uh, you know, there, there's a setup where you can. This literally happens. Sometimes yeah. people will strap their own arms up for training okay. to force them not to use it's their own chalk. arms. Uh, okay. And, and you imagine this is a dead arm. Imagine it's made of wood yeah. and you're using your body to move uh, that okay, dead arm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and I'm, I'm trying to do a bit of yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. Um, that is very dangerous because if you do that and the other guy slashes you, you can literally break your arm. That would be bad. Uh, that would be bad. Right. And yeah. we never, we've never <laughs> had any injuries in our class. Ever. Yeah, good. Let's keep, no, it, let's keep it that way. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the Minotaurs were set up in about 2008, yeah. and I joined them in 2010, um, and I've been the captain since 2013. So we've been a long time without any injuries. Yeah. You know, and um, I, I'd, li- I'd like it to yeah. stay that way. We've had <laughs> exactly. I mean, we've had hundreds and hundreds of people come to the club. We're, because we're Hertfordshire, we don't tend to have everyone staying on. A lot of guys will start yeah, up somewhere, they, you know, de- they will not necessarily live in uh, uh, He likes yeah. to cap his thumb, some people yeah. don't like to cap it, it depends on your okay. style. And when you start, are you trying to turn the wrist or not? No. It depends again what you're trying to do. Well, so some people, some people oh, like okay. to cup, and then if you, so put some resistance there, right, so you'll find what I'm, what you might feel is that I'm doing is I'm trying to cut into your wrist yeah. here with my fingers. Yeah, that's, that's horrible. Right. Yeah. Also, this is very difficult to break out of. Because that be your exit has to come all the way around there. Yeah. So as soon as your wrist is on top, there, I feel like I've got no. There's no 
anywhere yeah. before it's out of there. No, so, so you can try to stop also do it. You, so you can hook yeah. in as well. And if you uh, want to, you can start to bring that wrist oh, up so that you wow. can drain it, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Because you see that height on your wrist is controlling his wrist. <laughs> Don't push, just pull away. Right, <laughs> You've got the right idea though, I can see you, there's a little bit of a disconnection, but you, it won't take much for you to kind of start thinking. I mean, you can... My arm is exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to happen, man. Oh, wow. Wait till, wait till you feel, feel it later. I have trained today, but still. I, uh, I've got a thing train? where... Uh, I just do circuit training. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, I mean, Both I, very beefy. I thought you were like part of a rugby no, 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 club no, no, or something. No, no, I've done other sports, but... Um, yeah, when right you now, two showed up, I thought, oh, here so we go. Remember, <laughs> yeah. nice up shoulders, always yeah. stay, yeah. try to stay more central. Yeah. You don't want to be in this position because then you're already outside of where yeah. that sort of frame is going to sure, be. Yeah. You want to keep your, your hand yeah. roughly in line with your shoulder because yeah. when you start opening up, that's when you can break your humerus because yeah. that's where you get that radial fracture where people, you, you're strong enough to break your own arm, basically. Yeah, so yeah. if you start putting too much pressure like this, yeah, this it's is a weak position, it looks weak. Also, as your arm's out here, you're coming off of your phone line, that's your phone line. If your elbow's this side, you're within yeah. your own frame. Oh, yeah. And then as you rotate away, as you rotate away in this direction, elbow out of the way, <laughs> so I'm trying to force you over. Um, yeah. Then, if you imagine, sorry, I, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, it's only it. the first no, lesson. Go, 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 I always had to do this on the first one, never afterwards. Yeah. But, but, but imagine you're trying to come in this direction. Oh, that way? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah, you want to open up. Feel, feel where that, my hand like that goes. Way. Yeah, yeah, so, so come, I'm come over more to the centre of the table with your body. Yeah. Yeah, you want to be sort of more. Yeah, and like then that. You can, yeah, because you can physically pull more weight through your arm. But look, you don't want to okay. put this elbow on the table. Okay. You want to, you want to, <laughs> you want to be able to collapse behind the table a little bit. Yeah. So go go for it. Put some pressure now. Ooh. Try. Remember to keep it nice and tight. It's already looking here. Okay, go for it. Good. Up, up, up. <laughs> up the hips. <laughs> but you can see the idea. It's about trying to yeah. mimic, um, uh, turn that live horrible person in front of you into a simple weight. And right. if you can line yourself up with him, then you can turn him into a simple move. So it becomes complicated off the middle, and then it becomes simple on the outside. So if you can effectively force the other guy into a simple position where you've got just your strength to line. Yeah. So that's what I do. Yeah. So get your hips forward. You want to always keep that okay. contact with the table. That's why, that's why your hips come up, because yeah. you, it means you're keeping that short distance between your body oh and your right, arm. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, don't push, just which push. I can't my hips which way are my hips go again? That way. That way. <laughs> oh okay. Yeah. Looking good, so just pull on him. <laughs> I'm it's trying. Good. That's why he's strong. But I mean <laughs> he's a fire officer, <laughs> so you know he's <laughs> Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the hips are going that way. Yeah. That's okay, well, so when you say little over, you fall over that way. Okay. Think right. of it more you're already you're you're driven into the table to begin with, right? You're already there. Your, yeah. your hip is tight. When you start doing it, you're not thinking of turning your hip so much yeah. more than you are just, you're using the, the mechanics that you have available, and that's your body weight. Yeah. So I, I don't want to be stereotyping yeah. Yeah. here, but the, in my experience, the most breaks I've seen I'll tend to be with the bigger people because yeah. they simply can't get under the table as easily. So, so they're opening up. Yeah, some guys. Uh, his, uh, one guy, you're just leaning. You're just leaning. Yeah. Yeah. Some yeah. people, his yeah. belly will be in the way. Uh, some yeah. heavyweights. Their I think you, you would naturally a little bit find that a little bit easier, I think. Easier. And it might be because he's yeah. right-handed. That side's a little bit more awkward and stuff like. There's all these things to consider. He's also watched a lot of videos. I've watched <laughs> hours and hours. Do you want to try left or? Go on, go. My arm's killing me. I, you can tell I hate left. Oh, you've got the pads on this. That's the reason. <laughs> oh, that was it. That was what it was. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I had your way. I'm supposed to be I'm trying to do that. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you imagine you're pulling up through his hand. You're breaking yeah. his shapes. Yeah. Hand first, then that, then that. Pulling his game apart. That's nice. I thought no, I, I couldn't do anything with his on my left. Yeah. Uh, in you're order to do, I would have to fully hook into him in order to stop him. 
<laughs> yeah. So just sit on him because he'll get tired rather than run out. You're on my bicep now, so I only have that much that I can do. And well, on, what do you call half a bicep? You're on a, a mono set, yeah. um, so you're only ever uh, really able to defend with half your bicep. Yeah. yeah. So you imagine if you were to do static holds with a massive weight. You yeah. can't, you, maybe two thirds of that at the most you can actually yeah. utilize. So it's sort of a. Do you want to put, so you're, you're setting up your elbows there, up. so I should put that. Yeah. Uh, just wherever you uh, feel comfortable, really. I would say for beginners, you'd want to start further over and then yeah. transition into where he's at. You know, he's on a defensive posture because he knows that you're isolating his bicep. So in, in coming over, he's basically preparing for. Now he's got. He's, He's now uh, knows what to expect with your left arm. That's very strong. Fucking hell, buddy. <laughs> yeah. It's funny, I've got exactly the same top as that. Mine's not in as good condition. In fact, the zip broke years ago, but I've got the other right. holes. Yeah, I've got holes in the same. Yeah. I've got the identical one. <laughs> How's this work with right so, and left? So, uh, on a proper Mazarenko table, the longer side goes in for it. In for it. And then God, it gets your heart going, doesn't it? Really? <laughs> I, I wore him down with that side. I'm always... I'm always I mean, you're both strong, but I can feel that you're very... Is that, is that correct? Oh, we're going right. right, yeah. So, now that you're getting safer, you can start having a bit of fun. I'm looking forward to doing grip this evening, so when the sun goes down, I'm going to be in that shed. Way, nice! <laughs> it's starting to look, you, you, we'll get a few stills, what I'll do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make everyone look good in this video. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm gonna film this. Right, I've, I've, I've got the whole thing. Okay. Uh, it's wicked. Actually, hey, Dave, David's tall enough. He'll be able yeah, to yeah, look yeah, behind yeah. the camera. Uh, right, right. But I can't see. I should be very rolling. Strong, man. Very strong. I'll just make sure it's still rolling. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> someone being five foot two, and I can't. Either. He's he literally opening your forward. Yeah. I'm a bit better on my right than my left. Mm. There you go. Oh, oh, okay. oh. Nice. So I'll try to um see because your shoulders dropped so far. Um, That's yours. <laughs> try try to keep your shoulder up a little longer. Because yeah. what's happened is your shoulders dropped a little early and it means you're running out of power. You're gonna run, so you're shoulder, so you get more keep, yeah, power. just keep it up a little bit longer. We're talking about a little fraction, you know. So I'm, I'm looking forward to having a go against Mark. <laughs> Don't tie him up too much. <laughs> okay. Ready? Yep. Okay. Nice. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, that just came. That came there. I just went, Whoa. Yeah, yeah. Now I'll watch the same videos, you'll go, things will make more sense. You'll, you'll yeah. see the, the people's angles. Do you want to feel just. Or do you want to feel the strap? Yeah. Feel the strap as well. I want to use my one because I just bought one. Yay, nice, okay. It's like, it's like a bright green colour and I'm excited about it. <laughs> I'm like a child. And it's also good to practice to put it on because. Okay. So. Do you need me to help or you? I think, well, you do, do just that? remember, so, if it goes over your wrist first, your hand first, that means it goes over your wrist. Edge this out a few nice and and uh, it'll look like really My sort of like it's a pro. My wrist. <laughs> and then, I, um, I got into arm wrestling because I, me and my buddy used to be powerlifting. Oh really? So I used to go to X. And the idea is that it, it allows you to access more okay, yeah. so muscles. Okay, yeah. So one in 2010. Not at the cost. Is it a different type of thing? Yeah. yeah. It, it, yeah, it can be. Yeah. Yeah. People loaned this strap before, so, we sat so depending on what they, how they like to yeah. do it, oh, they, they, they might push, push their hand, yeah, they might push up, or they, they might make a gap. Or you're trying to set your hand up a certain way. Yeah. Yeah. Not necessarily, I'm too much of a yeah. beginner to like really know what I'm doing. Okay. So. Long time ago, 2009, at Crystal Palace. Yeah. 
Mm. Um, I used to train at Crystal Palace for athletics, but there was some guys that were good for powerlifting as well, so I went wrong a couple of times. Um, yeah, my my bro, he was a uh, at 56 kilo, 55, 56 kilo, he was yep. 200 kilo different. Wow. He's, he's two inches short of me. Wow. But wow. he was never competitive. I see him doing like really decent numbers. Am I opening myself yeah. up? Even on squat, he was yeah. quite okay. You go again, I'll, I'll have a look. Well, on on squat being shorter is an advantage. Because you've got, you got less far to drive back up. Mm, okay. it's, it, it, it's, it, it, it's true, but it's also about the ratio. Yeah, you are opening your bicep a little. Yeah, so sometimes you could be a huge guy. But if you've got if you're blessed with the right ratio. See, I can't do strap, I'm rubbish with it. Do you want to go again or take a break? Actually, I can if I force them into a hook. Your so left is very good though, it's not my left. Uh, but it's the Your only thing I can do. Yeah. So are you left handed or? I'm right handed. You know, um, a lot of guys, you get some guys have become world champions on their left arm when they're right handed. Really? Yeah. Uh, and it's just because it's their party arm. <laughs> it's not that oh, right, so you find I find as well, right? Grip stuff. Yeah. With the grip stuff, I tend to be stronger on my left than my right. Really? Yeah, because they say your your right is more. If you're right-handed, for example, your right is more dexterous, more delicate. Oh, so okay. you can where your left hand is just like a dumb hand. Yeah. yeah. So That's even though you you might be weaker, stuff it's it. more that you're more intelligent with your right because that's yeah. your control hand. Yeah. Whereas your left, you it know, it's right. just it's fucking it's grabs. Yeah, if your hand. Right yeah, that. You, it's, you it's more, it's more feather, you know. Your over your life, you'll get into very bad habits on your dominant arm. Whereas uh, your your non-dominant dominant arm is very basic. It's you're able to do more. Here we go. Yeah. Do get, you get fun injuries? You can get uh, any, any kind of injury. You know <laughs> what, I, um, I uh, was, last year, I, was, I had some tem tendonitis in my thumb. I really hated it because it spoiled my grip. Mm. And once you get any tendonitis anywhere, yeah. it takes three or four months to heal. Now it's great, I love the fact that I've got some tendonitis. It's like I can get, put my hand through, actually I don't want to jinx it, I put my hand through a lot of punishment. Okay, go. Ooh. Ah, yeah. You, want you, you can't want do anything with that hook. <laughs> yeah. 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 Right, anything I can do is try to pronate out. Yeah. Funnily enough, he's got a stronger bicep, but because um, I'm basically keeping him off, um, it's like an inch off of his bicep, yeah. so he can't connect it. You know. So he'll yeah. beat me in the gym pretty much every day. Because that angle, as soon as that's bigger, you're losing the bicep. Yeah, right? all I'm you're doing, I'm keeping an inch off his bicep. Right? Yeah, I'm keeping him just off of his comfort zone. Oh, yeah, 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 really went both ways. <laughs> 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 I mean, it's, uh, you'll see, I can't top roll when, on, when I've got a strap. Is it customary? I set it on your hand, right? Because that's how I... Go on, it matter, it's customary or... Does it matter so much uh, or do I go from the my The buckle hand, can go either strap, side, I don't know. And he loves the strap. And he loves the strap. Because I just don't like it. You start doing that as you're about to Well, do one for my own sake so I can just see. Yeah. I'm I'm ranked number three in my weight class at the moment, so it's something I want to improve on this summer. In, um, in the UK, yeah. Wow, he's a strong mother. But but the like guy, he's a power dwarf. <laughs> power, yeah. You, you, you <laughs> even, even in my weight category, you look in the <laughs> people I'm against are all taller than me. They used what's to be. What? Sorry, what's your weight category? Uh, under 65 kilos, I can think of. So um, I'm going to have to look into. I can go for it. Oh. <sighs> 
Is that side pressure you use to break? Uh, that? Yeah, a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Well, actually, um, it's a Michael Todd thing. It's called the it's called the riser. So it's, it's if you bring that up, if you bring that up and that up at the same time. So I'm not doing a forward to beat him like that because I can't get the angle of him, and I can't get my thumb down. So because I can't get my thumb down, I'm having to keep up and I'm having to bring the whole shape through his hand. Okay. Go. Oh, if I if I drop out of that shape that I'm trying, uh, I'm, I've got a shape. I've got a place in space I'm trying to keep it in. If he gets me even five millimeters out of that zone, then I, I can't hold it. So I'm, I'm basically gritting my teeth trying to keep him in that place. <laughs> Go. Oh, that's a hobble. Oh, that's a hobble. Oh, wow. wow. That was Ow. too strong. I told you what that strap kills. Oh, it's a bad. I like this strap though, it's a nice wide strap. Incidentally, um, <laughs> if you guys want, that doesn't feel, it feels very like... Intense. Yeah, that yeah. is intense. It's more... It's uh, also pretty cool to just be like, right, let's do this. Really let's do this. Let's actually... Well, I've got, I've got Minotaur ones. wristbands if anyone wants one for yeah. Oh yeah. Fiverr? Yeah, I've already got one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you've got one. Oh, I owe you five quid. Uh, no. I said, please remind me next time. I, I need to get. My wife is the one who always has the cash. She never, as soon as I've got any cash, she's, she gets it. She gets it. She's probably giving me up there. Um, I've got. Um, I have to go to the car and get it. Oh, that's right. <laughs> but, um, no, a bit of fun, Nick. You don't want to try right now. Well, I've done. I've got no. a, uh, like a cool one engine there. But the graphic on that, so. Basically, it's got a little minor tool, but it's half red, half grey. Cool. That's our, our club thing. So that's the original emblem which I came up with. Yeah. And that's it. There you go. So you can see the minor tool picture. Nice. It used to be the London. It um, used to be North London minor tools. Um, because we moved from Cambridge, we were in Cambridge originally. Uh, when Dan, the coach, the figures coach, he My became dad. a strong man, and so now he works for the Commando Temple in London. And so he it's gave me the down. job of being coach, nice. and so I took it over, and then it became the London Minor Tours, not in Cambridge. So it used to be always in Cambridge. Yeah. So 2013. Yeah, the trouble is that strap. Oh, really hurts my hand. Yeah. Uh, Should do another one without the strap. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I love our wrestling draw because it's like no matter how many times I lose, it's always entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> That's because I always try and give my best. Yeah. 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 Very cool. Can't do anything on the inside. Okay. <sighs> <laughs> you strong bastard. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've been well rested. I've been sat on my ass blowing my nose for three weeks, so it's like unsurprisingly I'm well rested. Funny enough, I'm not competing tomorrow because I didn't think I was strong enough. Which well, <laughs> might not be after today now. <laughs> Are you guys going to go for the thing? No, I no, don't. No, I kind of feel bad. Week, so. I feel bad about it because I did say I'd go, but I really don't want to yeah. be in London. What's the thing for you? It's a big tournament in. in oh. It's at the Peacock Gym in London. Where's that? Um, so it's sort of oh, well, East London. Yeah. Okay, right. And um, they're lovely guys. Um, oh yeah, it I used to be there. the biggest club so you, you in England. You were attacking my oh. thumb deliberately. Yeah, yeah, and just um, trying to bring it out basically. Because of all the best you're doing. Because I don't, I don't yeah. feel yeah. as strong now after arm just arm wrestling. wrestling. So yeah, that's my meaning. Um, especially just because just a lot of the East European hmm? arm wrestlers happened to no, live no, in the Dobsons and places like that. Oh mine, it's been practiced. So it's a just convenient place. But now the biggest clubs are Ireland, Slough. There's so many great clubs. Yeah, that's interesting. interesting. Yeah.
the so biggest it's, it's, it's really growing. Yeah, I mean, if you went 15 years ago, mm. um, the biggest club would have been the Preston Panthers. Right. Up in, so the whole demographics changed. Wow. A bit. Yeah. Uh, why, why you're, you're kind of in, just become in, a more popular. I'm trying to. I'm trying to basically. Oh, YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. I'm, I'm trying to come in, YouTube. cut into your people wrist. People retire. I mean, I the thing in. is, the guys and then who I'm dragging you down British here, British here. Yeah. Right, because the moment or I get here, I'm chopping into your bicep. Yeah. Okay. You know, I'm um, still nice and tight and close. And they, in the 80s and early 90s, they would compete in London, but then. Well, yeah, you could do. The you could hook yourself. The next or round you or you could try and roll out. The, uh, okay. 80s guys oh, so time. you've got enough leverage uh, that you can hypothetically by Neil Pickup post up and based on your wrist out of that. He, he used Line, to right? fire the, the, the copters yeah. uh, hotel right. uh, up yeah, in Garstang, uh, up in the middle of nowhere. Oh, okay, right. uh, <laughs> it's always the thing was in Garstang. And so it's yeah, it's it's sort of if you go to Feston, right. and I think it's like it's just east of Feston, right. but it's um, <laughs> <laughs> it's a long, oh. long one. Yeah, well, he's, um, I'm really Ooh. pleased that there's more to, more choices. The one that you've like, I really yeah, recommend. Yeah. Do you want to do left? Can we? Yeah, just that one. I think that one's done. The, the, <laughs> the best chance you've got to train to is. Uh, it, it, the best thing to aim for is one of the um, events at the pit in the Reading. Pit so in Reading. Basically, yeah. So Dubs, who's on our, he's on yeah, our, I've seen him yeah, on the text. He's on our site, but he's not a club member. But he's on our the WhatsApp. It's got a lot of people who aren't in our club who are part of it. Yeah. Part of the discussion because okay. we we try and help them organise stuff. But even going around. But um, Dubs, it's literally his house. It's at the end of his garden, and it's the biggest bloody garden you've ever seen. Well, it's called the pit. <laughs> it's and, his uh, garden. It's awesome. such a long garden. It's, 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 it's probably longer like this, but it's so long. So he's got like his parents' garden, then he's got another bit, and another bit, and another bit. And then at the end, he's got a shed. And it's, it's brilliant set up oh, because it's really yeah. good for people just to turn up and have a laugh. Side tables, they'll do some super matches. Oh. And, and we've got really good records with these. Uh, our guys have um, won most of their tournaments, you know. Um, Andrew really? is the oldest member still in our club who's he's not really on winning streak at the moment. He, he, he used to, he, he did get to a stage maybe five years ago when he was winning his streak matches, but now he's still enjoying it. Like when he's, um, he's sort of in his 60s, 64, wow. 60, 64. But um, Andrew, he'll bring his Mazarenko table along to training, and he's not here today because he is competing tomorrow. Oh, okay, yeah. um, he competed last week as well. He, uh, he's a stickler for punishment. Uh, if, I, if I was him, if I was six foot and had a, he's got abnormally long arms and, and big hands from time. So if I was like him, I would keep my weight down so I could compete mm. in lighter weight classes. He's already quite skinny. Though. Well, he's lost weight recently. Right. Uh, he's, ever since his mum passed away, he moved. Uh, he he basically, till his mum was in her 90s, and he, he used to live in St. Albans in the big old house. He's got his own place now. But he's feeding himself, and I think maybe he could lose some weight. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Could we all? Yeah. <laughs> well, I could anyway. But he's Rather been losing than weight, than not intentionally. Right. But no, I'll, if we could change some of that onto as good muscle. I mean, and see what I can do on my left if I was to look into it, I don't know. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, I, I good. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you're a left arm specialist. Yeah, yeah, looks like, looks like it. He's just got, not got fat any, he's not got as fat. I feel, I feel, that, I feel, I feel like the, 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 the main well, to transfer my weight more. Anyway, uh, sometimes how it, how it moment, happens. So. I mean, Marchant, he's he's still got a little bit of he's still on the upward curve. So actually, he's he's got he's seeing gains quite fast at the moment. So how do you see you see gains as in like technical gains? No strength on the table. So so this <laughs> is opening. Yeah. So I mean, a good example is at the moment his pronator is being beaten and he's opening up very quickly. 
but a few months down the line that's probably not going to open up as easily. Sit, sit on him, sit on him. Try and come right into him. <laughs> <laughs> If you bring your fingertips down into his hand on the other side, then it gives you room. Oh, wow. I can feel it's all it's all of the biceps. So I can that feel like oh, a minute. all that's happening is like I'm just getting tired out. If I try and isolate my bicep, <laughs> I might have a heart <laughs> job. So I can't beat you on my hand. Right? So I'm gonna have to come in somehow. You're good. Sometimes your left is. It well, might because I um I play a bit of cricket and I I'm some people they actually might. Oh wow. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm only able to do it with my hand. I can't. Uh, I can't really. Yeah. I'm having to keep my chest off the table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've literally got mesh down to the ribs, so I'm just being very careful. And not actually doing it in the best of the So it might be this is probably not. Wow. Oh, wow, nice. <laughs> well done. Wow, that was wow, bored, yeah. <laughs> uh, the rattlesnake uh, runs for his money without hissing. Yeah, um, Andrew, <laughs> uh, Andrew's nickname is the rattlesnake because he misses so much. <laughs> do you guys want to do a bit of grip? Have a bit of fun? Oh. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah what do you think? You're okay no, you with a bit of grip? Absolutely. Yeah, can you get a little bit? <laughs> oh. oh, I've got a bit sick pump in my left arm now. Nice, I never get a pump doing arm missing. <sighs> Uh, you've got to feel, <laughs> you've got to feel the strap. I hope that's just defend now. It's a very good cup. <laughs> oh yes. But if you try the grip another time, don't put, don't. If you're going to do a tricep press, you have to come up onto your arm, like and and you need to find a place high on his hand to press into. Like that. Yeah, because if you press into the base of his thumb, you've got a better chance. But, so don't try to, but generally, when you come round, you pull up as you come round. Yeah. That means you, you so as you come round this way, yeah. you're pulling up in this direction. That way, you've got some gain when you press down. Mm. If you're pushing down as you come round, yeah. you can just post on you. Okay, okay. Does make sense? Like so you want to post here as yeah. you come round. So like yeah, it gives you some height on his thumb. If you press into the soft bit of his thumb there, it's got... Press, press into there, yeah. yeah, now, a lot easier. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's so many different things to support. Is that, is that, that's, that's called the tricep press. tricep press. It's called the tricep press because you're supposed to keep your arm away from your shoulder. Wow. Yeah, don't, don't, this is illegal. What, uh, this has to be, that, that will yeah. be a no, there will be a foul. Okay. So it's called a tricep press because you're keeping that gap. Oh, okay, yeah. so if it's down like that, you fucking It's illegal. Yeah, okay. you, the, the ref, or literally, you'll see him on YouTube, you'll see the ref doing this, making sure that you're not... So, yeah. Yeah. So that is the gap between the upper part of your arm. Yeah. You want to keep your triangle. It's, a, okay, okay. it's one of the few illegal moves. <laughs> I've got the same one, but oh, I've got got soda yeah, we've got the soda stream. Yeah, yeah, best adult stream. purchase of my life. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, that's exactly it. <laughs> <laughs> 
free carbon each <laughs> oh what, got you, what got you into that? Uh, it was one of my friends, because I'm doing rock climbing at the moment, he oh said that because right. I've got... Rock climbing is great for... Well, because wrist action and kind of pulling strength, and I might, I might not awesome. get this because he's twice the size of me and yeah. thrashes me every time, so I'm trying to get this down and get oh, the technique down so I can it. fucking hammer it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> still probably wouldn't happen, but... Yeah. Well, we're mates and he's been talking about getting his arm up in and... Um, the, yeah. the left arm is weirdly really really good. Have you, tr have you tried both both arms? Yeah. 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 Do you find you're like naturally better at one? I, I think um, I, I broke my left arm, so I'm, I'm stronger with this arm definitely. But I don't know. Give it some time. Get, get the strength. Yeah, I mean, that's, yeah, the good thing about coming to a session is like that there's always going to be people stronger than you. There's always going to be people like a little bit weaker than you. Some people have like equal strength, yeah. and then it's down to technique. And that's just the thing. Just playing with it. Just you know, having a lot of table time. Doing it, getting those little kinks stronger, all that kind of stuff, you know. Yeah, I mean, this is the first time I've ever felt tired in my stomach. <laughs> we just did some, weird, we were just doing some niche movements in there. Yeah, like and the penny, the penny, away. the penny yeah. thing. And oh, the bowling ball. Oh, he's oh. got, he's oh, got. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. 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 It's hard. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's such a, it's such a weirdly niche um, like. Area of strength. Yeah. Because you might be a strong dude, you can deadlift like 200 kilos or something like that, and then you come to that. You try to transfer that strength into your thumb. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not yeah, it's a weird one. Yeah. Here's one. This is like, he's been here a few times. He's doing left. He's doing left. Um, yeah, I think this is like my fifth session overall. How have you found it? Um, what do you mean? As in, like, have you found like it? You progress like? Not at this point in time. It's 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 making sure that my technique is good and not falling into bad habits. All right, like because like you're so good with your right, like it's almost pointless because I can't do anything to learn about it, you know what I mean? So it's like, it's good when you've got someone who's like a similar strength to you, yeah, it's, it's, who you can like really play with and all that. Yeah. Uh, tendons are the most poor blood supply. Yeah. So, so you need to get blood into your tendons. So anything that you get pumped in, don't get a pump in your training, you get a pump in your tendons. Yeah, that's why no play, no burn, what was it, uh, no pain or gain at all. Uh, the pain should only really It's quite weird, it's like a different angle. Yeah. 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 So, so, 48 hours after your big session, yeah. then you want to feel the pain. Yeah, you absolutely got me. Uh, maybe on the right, bro, but not on the left. Yeah. You're too strong with your left. Entirely on, on nasty technique and whatnot. Boy, I've just mentioned, noticed the time. I think we might have to make a move. Oh, apparently. Sorry, Joe. Yeah. That's all right. Thanks just, for I coming. I promise that we we'll have to get back quite far. Yep. Yep. Go. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh, hey, Joe, thank you so much. I'd love to come again. Sorry, we've got to go. Thank you so That's much. That's all right. Thank you for teaching us. No, it's it's really good to meet you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. That's all right. Just yeah. Carry on with the watching the YouTube because yeah. yeah. things will make more sense now. Yeah, that's yeah. brilliant. Thank okay. you so much. Take care. See you soon. Yeah, all the best. Right. Right. Good guys. <laughs> See you in the next one. Yeah. Maybe I'm a glutton for punishment, but <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? I, I love that kind of. Uh, yeah, go for it. <laughs> yep. Go. Too strong, man. Rock solid. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> rock solid. Do you want a little bit of a... Yeah, sure. So, well, have you, you've not done any, anything on a table, so it would just be good to see what angles you're making, really. You've got a nice long lever, so you've got an advantage over someone like me. Yeah. Because you've got a bigger range of motion. So I can kind of... Okay, yeah. Well, the longer your arm, within reason... <laughs> yeah. Um, there's some guys... I mean, David... Um, 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 Actually, I'm going to cut that off. Yeah. <laughs> David Sand, he's, he's seven foot and he's in our club. Fucking uh, hell. But the, the, his range of motion is outside like Outside here. the table. Yeah, so really you want it to be in here. So the best height in arm wrestling is six foot, six, one, two, three, six, five and over, you're starting to get problems. I mean, I'm not, uh, I don't know what I am in feet. I'm 188 centimetres. So about six, yeah, about six foot. Six foot. Yeah, okay. So, so that's five eleven. Uh, so. That's This table is designed for you. Yes, okay. okay it means I'm going to be. <laughs> if you're six foot, you can, can you can connect to power at most parts of the table. Yeah. Um, me, I have to keep you close to me. Yeah. Um, if you get me away from 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 my circle, which is small. Yeah. Imagine all. Imagine you've got away from the table. Literally, stick a big heavy weight on the table and try and drag it across the table. It's easier you, when it's close. Yeah. yeah. So you, you'll automatically know what to do when. You, for some reason, when we grip up with a person, we we forget that. Forget, yeah, it's, it's yeah. like dragging a weight around. Yeah, you want to get them into that position. So, so you, you've got more options. Yep. Right. He's got a really good wrist. Some of these you've gone and hooked into me. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so try and keep up here. Yeah. And and try and get around my wrist. Okay. Yeah. That's nice. You, you're off your bone line too quick. Oh. Try and keep up on your arm and yeah. get your hip up into the table as you pull back. So, like here. so that so you're this keeping this close. This one's anchoring there. Right? Yeah, like that. yeah, and the other one is collapsing behind you. And so the idea is your hip comes keep up. Keep that hip against the table. Yeah, so there. your hip comes up into the table as you pull back. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. And then you want to. You kind of want to use your hip as a lever as you're tilting backwards. It okay, means you so can. It means this is tight and strong. And as that shoulder comes round. Watch this. Yeah. That's off of bone line. That's on bone line. That's strong. That's great territory. Yeah. You know. So if I follow that shape around, I, I can pull a lot of weight from there. I yeah. Imagine I've got a rope. I can lift a lot, a lot of weight more, there. Pull more. Yeah. yeah. If I'm out there, I'm not going to be able to lift <laughs> yeah. a lot. So you want to think that I'm a big series of awkward weights. Okay. Yeah. So get up on the elbow. Yes, and then you're going to come over. As you do that, so as I kind of twist over, don't don't worry about twisting. Just go do that, and then you've got yourself something that your arm can do. Okay. You don't have to do a lot with your arm. You just need to be able to do that, and then everything else. I'll show you. So if we grip up, I'll do a very un unconvincing top roll. I'm not very good at it. <laughs> <laughs> I should be up here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Imagine against David Sands because he's seven foot. I'll literally put my put a little hook on top. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so so literally, I'll do this. So. Uh, so go. Oh, okay. So, so you kind of dig in. Dig yeah, in so in. I push down and up. Okay. Yep. That's called a dragging top roll. The longer your arm is, the further your wrist comes out. Okay. So the short arm, because I've got a short arm out down there in your hand, the yeah. taller you are, the more you can come yeah, up here. Of, yeah. So, so the tall guys, you can imagine, they've got, they can really go wherever your hand is on the table, they can pick an angle on your hand. So yeah, so okay, yeah. Yeah, so when, when someone grips you in the pub, wherever, on the table, yeah, yeah. when they grip you, watch where their hand is. So then you can think, oh, I'm going to open their hand in that direction. Or if they go for a top roll, you they can hook go and you can come round. Yeah. Yeah. Um, unless you're hooking, but we're not talking about yeah, hooking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yep, so, so that's better. Much better. Try not to push at the end. That's the most common problem with beginners. Is, is that last bit. Okay. In fact, I get problems with it, you know, because once I'm there, I've, got, I've not got that rotation anymore. Yeah. So I have to, what I have to do is come back to it and then finish off. Yeah. So you have to kind of give yourself a little second wind. Okay. So you want to kind of kind of hold it here and then... Yeah, again, not on your bone line. Uh, yeah, not yeah, off not your bone line. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So what you're doing, you're perfect, but you need to then make a... Uh, uh, tight adjustment. 
In other words, you wanted to then regain it, yeah. so hunching your shoulders and then come back. That cold shoulder thing makes a big difference. As you're opening up your own chest, yeah. everything's opening up. So you're less likely to be able to pull a lot of weight so in this last bit. So you want to in. open up your shoulders, your shoulder blades, bring your chest in, come forwards without, without giving an inch. You want to come into the other guy's hand and then you can finish him off. Okay. So same as before, so get me over the hand, yep. And then push down and no. So, Wait, so, so it's push down, down and then, then up, yep. Yeah. Beautiful. So go. Yeah. So as you as you as you don't don't go floppy. So okay, everything's tight, nice yeah. and tight. Yeah. So go. So keep the shape, nice, keep the roll, keep rolling. Then you're going to come in and come up. And then you're going to roll back the same thing again. So you're gonna oh. repeat the same movement. But you, you need to regain it so that you can repeat the movement. So yeah, so you go there, there, and then you kind of go back and then again. Yes, yeah, so you're just regaining it. So basically, um, I if I top roll you, but I run out of room, so it's like, yeah. oh, my last little bit, what do I do? I basically regain it a little, and then I do it again. Okay, so to kind of open the hand up. It's to give me a lever through your hand. Yeah. Because basically, when I'm down there, it's like, well, I can't push you sideways, but you're be stronger. You know, you probably do tight. Most guys do curls. Yeah. So your defence is better, probably stronger than mine. But it's pressure down. But I don't press you down at all. I, I'm trying to pull you open. So to be able to pull you effectively with your hook, I'm going to come back in, but without giving you any, any room. Any yeah. room, and then I can get you back over. Yeah. Okay. So do you, you guys? <laughs> do you want to jump on or? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I last couple of before we have to get going, I guess. Yeah, you know, you generally, I, I generally would rather people with similar arm length practice with each other because I'm not a realistic opponent. Yeah, you know, although in our weight category, I'm 70, so I remember you. So we're in the same weight category, but, <laughs> yeah. but, but you'll be putting like, on weight very quickly. It's so shit because it's like imagine you're like a tall, skinny dude and you think, yeah, I'm, I'm like, gonna, yeah, I'm yeah, in a weight category, and then this fucking like unit, power yeah, fucking. <laughs> but but the the number one guy in the country is tall in my weight category, he's taller than you, so actually he's really, freaks out really, there, really dialed in, but you just need to work on it. You can be very skinny and be the number one, yeah. you know, it, don't, I'm wrestling, you're in the right sport if you want something where you don't have to be heavy. Yeah. Uh, you can be very impressive, but you, ne you need to work on those tendons. Yeah. Tom Holland is famous because he, he spent so long not putting on weight, and he'll yeah. tell most people he wants to put on weight. But I mean, I, I, at but the moment, I am trying to put on as much weight as I can. Work on your tendon connections, on your statics. Uh, I'm doing, uh, well, at rock climbing. I'm Calisthenics, always, yes! Yeah. You're doing exactly the right thing. So, um, it's the perfect strength to weight ratio in terms of building when yeah, you get strong yeah. with calisthenics. Not so much the full one like arm chin up. Yeah. Uh, because that's very impressive, it's but it's not going to it's so not going to help your your y it's not going to help your your deltoids. Yeah, uh, if I was boy violent in them, he would he would keep here. He would yeah. do them like this. Well, he used to strap his hand yeah. deliberately, so when he was doing that, it's yeah. like yeah. It's like I mean, this. Uh, what I do is the one arm lock off. So you would yes. do one arm pull off, and then you it's would called hold a negative. It yeah, hold it at the right Which angle. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah I, I, you said seventy. Yeah. yeah, I used to do negative holds for as long as I could. Years. Um, 26 before odd kilos less. Yeah. Right, <laughs> but I, I used to, um, when I used to, before chest surgery, I used to do negative holds religiously, you know. Oh um, God, yeah. But really good, you're doing the right thing. The only other thing I would say is the, oh, the, the on bouldering, you know, the open block? Yeah, the slabs. You want, your, you want to exercise that me medium crimp. Yeah. That, that's going to really be good in arm wrestling. Yeah. I mean, I've got myself a handboard as well, so. Yeah, nice. Very, very strong wrist. Yeah, he's got a really good wrist. Tell you what, the gains on someone of your age is going to be so fast. Mm -hmm. We've got a guy called Oliver in our club who's unbelievably strong now, and he's he's only now 16. Yeah, I'm 16. Yeah. Oh, with that moustache, he's pretty boy. Yeah. But I think it's because he's sit fit, so it's like you know. He's <laughs> Like I, I'm, 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 I'm Jewish. I haven't armrested him, but I can see just from the video. You're but if, it, if I if I if I shave, it uh, you know, I've got a beard within a week. You know, so <laughs> no, but he's he's uh, amazing. Yeah. Trying to keep this the same as that. 
keep up on your hand. So think about your shoulder up on your hand. Think of this an imaginary connection here. Think yeah, like a boxing position. Think of your shadow boxer. And this is going to come round. The disc is going to come round here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And yeah, you always want to face off. and open up towards your hand. That's looking good. Kind of like you're doing all the right stuff. Try not to open yourself up. Try and hold on here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so bicep, because yeah. he's only human, you, if you keep enough pressure on, even if you're opening up, if you just open up a little, then, then he'll, he'll run out of puff at some point. I mean, uh, uh, because you're a rock climber, you're probably going to not run out of puff. Yeah, I said the same. Because I've had slow, slow acting. Slow burn. <laughs> Just sit on him. If you're opening up too much, just stay on him. Yeah. You'll hear, you'll, <laughs> you'll watch videos of people in matches and you'll yeah. hear their coach say, Stay there! Stay, stay on him! <laughs> Don't! You know, it's like they're worried he'll throw it away, you know. Yeah. Um. <laughs> oh my god. Do you want to jump on? Because I'm, I'm giving it a bit of a break. Well, you can do two hands against this, Ron. I'm just happy to, to be training again. I had, um, I had COVID a few, for a couple of weeks, oh, so yeah. it's, um, I, I'm really, really happy to not be on that anymore. I, I just like grateful to. It's really filling my stomach. Oh no! <laughs> Trouble is, I've been doing a lot of hub lifts, as you can tell. So um, it's a bit sore. Yep, go. <laughs> this is a burn. So if I hold that there. So does playing the defensive position kind of help with the training? Uh, sorry. So uh, when you when you play so oh, well, when you're arm wrestling someone and they're doing like like you're doing now, you're just kind of holding them. Is that kind of used? Yeah, as well, a I'm trying to tuck him, but um, yes, I'm trying to enjoy it to be quite honest. Yeah. <laughs> I think we'll probably call it a day actually on the right but Come on, man. Oh, no, you're okay. still so strong, bro. Oh, five, yeah. <laughs> go, go for it. So all I can do is yeah. try and slip out. The thing you're going to feel the most is your tendons, um, um, probably in two days' time, uh, if you're not used to this. Yeah, no, um, I'm not used to kind of rolling everything over. Rolling funny over enough, rest. if you're very young, I wouldn't usually recommend anyone do grippers. Um, even in grip sport, but um, it, if you do light grip work, it actually will help uh, early on. Yeah, it's not yeah. something you want to get into the habit of later on. You've got a muscle gun as well. I have no idea. It's like a, you know, the vibrating muscle. Oh, oh yeah. in the game you get knotted up. Yeah, yeah that, I find when my arm hurts after arm wrestling, that does help. I mean, I just buy a vibrator. <laughs> lost it. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to see what you so do, small. but every movement is so... My, the minute. thing, the thing yeah. that I'm trying to do with him is, I'm trying to set up here, yeah. so that he doesn't, he can't his put, he put his powers through his fingers. Yeah, because yeah, right. all I'm doing is pulling, if you imagine I'm pulling down here. Yeah. yeah. And because his, his hands are so strong, the only thing I can hope to do is to turn out and yeah. attack his fingers. But yeah. if, he, if he gets a good grip and he can set deep into my hand, yeah. It's you pretty know, much it's impossible for me to, you well, know, yeah, to come out. Yeah, and actually, out. it's a nice feeling to be able to push into the other guy's bones, you know. Uh, but I, I'm going to feel this tomorrow, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just one more. Go on. Go on. Uh, you probably noticed my setup's completely changed. I've dumped my thumb. Yeah. Go on. <laughs> yeah, you got you me. Just, you just gave me that one. I know you well enough now. Well, I'm too. I got a lot of lactic now. 
very funny. Did you show him? Did you show him your? No, uh, I've not got it left. Yeah, the, the, the dildo, oh. as you say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but when, because it's pumped up now, you can't see oh, it. I can't when, see it now. When before he trains, it's literally you've got like a single, like muscle isolation. It looks fucking it's unbelievable. Just different. No, you've got another. Double so my thumb has been rather bullied today. Wow. Oh, oh, no, oh, thanks for coming. It's okay. 